Hey everybody, Drizzy Puffs here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys this map that I downloaded um, that helps me out with my aiming game. Now, once you download it, you go to play, you go to offline with bots, and then you go to workshop. This is once you downloaded it. And um, it's called Aimbots, made by Mr. Oludalitical. Uh, Oludalitical. <laughs> That's so hard to say. But you, what you do is you click on it and then you go to go. Now, and also click harmless bots. Now, while this loads, I'm going to tell you guys how to download it or where you go and find it. I will put a link in the description to immediately go to the page where it's located. But what you want to do is on Steam, you go to Counter Strike, the community hub. And on the community hub, it says like search, you know, there's going to be a search bar somewhere around in the top right. And what you do is you type in aimbots, aimbots with, you know, the bots instead of an S, it's a Z, as you can see on this uh, loading stream. And you'll be able to find it immediately. And the way that you do it is you click on, you know, aimbots and you choose the map that you want to uh, play with. And I chose the first one because I really, really like it. And it, it was shown to me by Immortal HD like uh, on his video and I decided to give it a, sh a go and it actually is really really useful and I'll show you exactly why it's useful but the way that you download it is that you click on the map and then you favorite and you like it and um, you should be able to find it on like this uh, the home screen of uh, your uh, of your uh, of your game in the menu. Now what I do is you gotta click um, you gotta hit fixed add bots this will restart everything. I take off infinite ammo and I put show impacts. Now I pick a gun that I normally use quite a bit and what this does like what show impacts does is it shows you the uh, uh, the impacts of the of your bullets and also it shows you the like how, um, like where it goes exactly when if you spam it a lot so this will help you understand like the bullet spread and how accurate it is and um, I usually choose the guns that I use a lot so for example I use the P250 or the P2000 or the CZ75 uh, auto and what you do um, is you you uh, <laughs> you shoot the guns that you want to use, such as the P P Bison. You shoot that, or the P90. You shoot that to use it and to get it. And same with you know these. Uh, but I recommend using you know your pistol to like pick pick the one that you want to use um, instead of using the shotgun. And there are the snipers right there. And I use the M4A1 and the AK47 a lot. I personally like the M4A1 a lot better. And the what now obviously like you know for shits and giggles like you can do this and you can practice like shooting them that's that's easy right so one way to make the difficulty a little bit better is I like to do speed three and ADA DA uh, four which means that they will be moving at a fairly fast pace and they will be ADA strafing left and right um. A lot, a lot more, like faster and a lot more sporadically. So you can also sh uh, practice doing this, but this is also pretty easy. I mean, it's it's not that tough. So this is not how I would recommend practicing. What I like to do is like uh, like right now it's a flat ground, and what I like to do is do uneven ground, which makes the ground uneven. As you can see, like it goes up, and then now it's uneven. So this also adds a little bit more difficulty with your aiming, um, and I, I just generally like to practice like this. It obviously right there is like really really hard, but you know, like I'm in the open and I can see the enemies. I mean, this is not how. This is also something you don't want to do when you practice. So what I like to um, add the difficulty, I like to add to the difficulty. I put peak spray walls, and you know I like to wait and pretend like this guy just popped up and like you know I shoot this person. And this is, this is, like, my general rule of thumb is if they pop up and you don't kill them the second that they pop up, then you already lost. I also like to add crates to make it a lot more difficult. And what I like to do is I look down and I walk up to a peak spray wall. And what I do is 
I try the the first enemy that shot uh, that pops up. I shoot them, and if you obviously like um, don't kill them the second that they go back into hiding, that means I, I'd consider that you already lost the battle. So what I do is I go to this next one, and uh, this time I'm gonna look to my left. And the first enemy that pops up around this corner is dead. Now that was a little bit too quick, so I'm not gonna count that. But I'm also just gonna do this, and the first one that I see is gonna die. So right there, and you can just like keep practicing and just doing this a lot, you know. And this, like looking down and moving up to a uh, a box, adds a surprise element. It um. It helps practice your twitch aiming, and this is this is what I like to do. So it's like adding an element of surprise when you are shooting enemies, when you're practicing your aiming. Now, right there, I would have lost, so let's just count that as a loss. And just make sure you're very aware of, um, like how well you're doing. Like right there, I took way too long to kill him, so that's gonna count against me. And this is this is pretty much what I do all the time. <laughs> so you can also practice with other guns that you use a lot, or you can practice with other guns that you know you never practiced with before. So I also like like when I first start off, I like to you know understand the spray mechanics a little bit better of any gun that I'm using, and I just practice with these boxes. Make sure that you practice on this side where it says elliptical. And you can also change the distance where the enemies will be, you know, so if you want to focus more on close range, then you can do that. Um, if you want to do long range, you can do that. Practice with your sniper skills, which the snipers are right over here. Um, let's use this real quick and let's just shoot some guys real quick. Let's just shoot some chickens real quick. I missed that chicken. So yeah, you can practice your peak spray. And uh, this is obviously a controlled environment, but you you can add like a surprise element by popping up, oh, right there, and then add a surprise element. Oh no, no, right there. I probably would have lost. So let's uh, let's ignore that right now. But yeah, um, this was shown to me by Immortal HD on his video. I'll add a link to the description for that one as well, and also to this map made by Eludical. I think I'm saying it right, and I'll, hopefully this will help you guys get better with your aim, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.